in this video we're going to talk about pyrometallurgy which is introduction of pyrometallurgy welcome to the course pyrometallurgy so let's break down in pyrometallurgy thermal energy is one of the most important input so the most important input the most important input is thermal energy So we are using thermal energy to recover the metal of interest from it all. So we have an ore which consists of different metals. And in this case, we are using a temperature which is greater than 100 degrees Celsius to recover the metal of interest. Metal from its or so using a high temperature which is greater than 100 degrees to recover the metal of interest from it all one may ask what is an ore when we talk about an ore an ore contains enough metal of interest that can be extracted economically so for the key word is economically because before you can extract any metal of interest from an ore you you need to examine that the oil you're extracting or the metal of interest in the oil you're extracting will it be economically important to you if yes then you continue with that right okay so most metals in this case the oil that we have most metal exists in what the sulfide the oxide and um, we have the carbonate so we know that the all that are going to um extract the metal of interest from the metal of interest can be in a form of sulfide oxide and what carbonate that's why we call it pyro pyro means high temperature to recover the metal of interest right so using high temperature now and one main purpose of Pyrometallurgy is to find the suitable reducing agent. The suitable reducing agent, which is one important thing, which will what convert the oxide to metal. So we need to find a suitable reducing agent which will convert. In this case, we are talking about this oxide to the metal, right? Yeah. Now let's talk about. We talk about what. Oh, so let's talk about some metals and their minerals and their chemical composition right so we're going to talk about some minerals and um their chemical composition and this is introduction to pyrometallurgy so let's take aluminium when you talk about aluminium with aluminium the mineral is bauxite is bauxite and the chemical composition is al2o3 now let's talk about um chromium with chromium the mineral is chromite right the mineral is chromite and the chemical composition is FeCr2O4 now let's talk about copper 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 and what are the minerals with copper we have light sorry we have parkosite we have chacoparite chacoparite and we have malachite malachite so we have chacoparite chacoparite and malachite and with this their chemicals um composition is cu 2x and this chacoparite is cu with pyrite and then the malachite is cu co3 there's two here oh2 then we come to ion with ion with ion the metal will be hematite we have hematite and we have magnetite and 
hematite magnetite and this is fe204 fe204 o3 sorry this is three and this is fe304 then let's go to lead right these are all metals and the minerals and the chemical composition let's go to lead with lead it's metal is galena galena and with galena the chemical composition is b s b uh, p b s right right now let's go to manganese with manganese we have pyrolusite 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 and the chemical is m o m n o 2 and this is manganese manganese so we have more but these are the common ones that um i'm giving it to you guys but you can search more we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of metals and their uh, minerals and their chemical composition right okay now as i established that pyrometallurgy let me even change the marker the ink of the marker let me use i pyrometallurgy right with when we talk about pyrometallurgy When we talk about pyrometallurgy, we are using what? Using of what? Using high temperatures. High temperatures to obtain the free what? Metals, right? We are using high temperatures to obtain. When we talk about pyrometallurgy, using of high temperatures to obtain free metals. And in this case, there are four major four major steps so let's in pyrometallurgy we have four major steps the first one is calcination and when we talk about calcination you are heating the ore to cause the position and elimination of volatile products such as water or carbon dioxide so you are heating it right in the absence of oxygen to cause the position and elimination of volatile product that is the first major step so the major steps we have for the first one is what calcination so the second one but before then the second one we have roasting so the second one is roasting and with roasting roasting which roasting, what we are doing is that we are heating to cause chemical reaction between the ore, which is a solid, and the, what, the furnace environment. So in this case, we are heating the what presence of what oxygen. Are you getting and, and let's take one equation. We, we let's take two zinc sulfide, which is a solid plus oxygen. And when this one breaks down, we are going to get to zinc oxide plus sulfide dioxide gas so if you can see that we are heating it in the what in the furnace environment which means that we need oxygen so the difference between the calcination and the roasting is that calcination happens without the use of oxygen and roasting does the um, with the use of what oxygen let's move on to the third one with the third one, we have smelting. These are the steps. And with smelting, you are what? Melting, it's a melting process which separates the chemical reaction into two products. So when you hit this, you are changing, um, you are separating the chemical reaction into two products. In this case, we have the slag and the multi metal. So if, when you heat it, you are changing to the slag and the molten metal. And in this case, the slag, due to its density, is going to float on top. And the molten metal will what? 
settle down and then we can separate it that to that so we can look at some um slags so slag is a, a molten silicate in addition to aluminate phosphate and inorganic uh, material so we have um aluminate silicate and more they come together to form the slag yes let's look at the fourth one which is the final one with the final one what you are going to look at is the final one which is the fourth one is refining and when we talk about refining is the heat treatment of crude metal products to improve the purity so you are increasing the purity of the metal right increase the purity of the metal right through that which is refining so these are the four major steps in pyrometallurgy thank you very much for this lesson